The Cognitech Tri-Suite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's functions, rectification, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. When an image is taken with a camera, objects which are farther away appear to be smaller than those closest to the camera. If a picture is taken and the camera is not parallel to the center of an object, this effect causes the proportions of the object to become distorted in the image. Cognitech Video Investigator's Rectification Filter offers an easy way to rectify the perspective of an image, allowing the proportions of objects in the image to be accurately represented. One helpful use of the Rectification Filter can be in creating proportion-preserving images without the use of a tripod or time-consuming setup. Displaying accurate proportions of objects in an image can be extremely useful when taking measurements from images. As long as an image has a rectangular object on the same surface as the object which one would like to rectify, the rectification filter will be able to use the rectangle as a reference to rectify the image. The rectification filter can rectify images by using the following transformations. Zoom. General Zoom Rotation Affine and perspective. Let's see how simple it can be to rectify an image. Watch me. I'll begin by opening an image. This image was taken at an angle, making this ruler's measurements inconsistent. I can quickly test the reliability of the ruler by making a line that's one inch long directly over the ruler with a line tool. If I move the line to another portion of the image, I can see that the measurement scale is larger in relation to the ruler's distance to the camera. I'd like to rectify this image so that my measurements are reliable. To do this, I have to create four points on a rectangular object in the image. I can create the points with either the Add Points tool, the Open Polygon tool, or the Closed Polygon tool all found in the Glyphs tool menu. I'll choose the Closed Polygon tool because it displays a line connecting the points together, which will help me visualize the selection. I place this rectangular object in the image with rectification in mind. Now from the Filters menu, I'll go to the Transform sub-menu and choose Rectification. From the Rectification Interface window, I'll begin by clicking on the Active button. This will start the Active Interface and open a preview window that will show changes to my parameters in real time. The filter attempted to automatically rectify my image. I'll resize the window so we can easily compare the rectified image and the source image. Notice how deselecting certain transformations affect the image. To properly rectify this image, however, I'll select them all. We could arbitrarily adjust the proportions of our image with the various tools in the Rectification Parameters window like this. But in order to accurately rectify the proportions of an image, we have to first tell Video Investigator the proportions of our rectangular object. We can type the length-width ratio of our object here as an integer. If our rectangular object was 1 by 2, for example, I would type 0 0.5 in the ratio parameter. I could then create a rectangle with the four point map tool, and our manually input four points will map to this rectangle with our newly specified length width ratio. However, our rectangular object is a square sticky note, so its sides have a one to one length width ratio. 
I'll set the ratio parameter accordingly. With my image accurately rectified, I can click on Process to apply my settings and then Finish to close the rectification filter. Now I can verify that the measurements of my ruler are accurate. Before we begin the hands-on portion of this tutorial, let's take a look at the Rectification Filters interface window. The Rectify Model section is used to specify the transformations which will be applied to the image. The Rectangle section contains two options, Closest and Specify. Closest creates an output image of optimal size. Specify allows the user to specify the output image size. Near the bottom of the window, you'll also find Center which centers the rectified image on the four-point map, and clockwise, which will rotate the rectified image clockwise. If you click on the active button, there will be more parameters available in the preview window. The pointer tool simply behaves as a cursor. The zoom tool allows you to zoom in and out of the image. The horizontal stretch tool allows you to stretch your image horizontally. The rotate Z tool allows the standard rotation of an image. The Rotate X tool allows you to tilt an image vertically. The Shift Image tool allows you to move the image within the preview window. The Four Point Map tool maps the four user created points to a rectangle. The Reset button resets the image to its original orientation. The Save as Background button is useful for videos. It saves the current rectified frame of video for later use. The saved frame of video can be shown overlaid on another frame of video by using the Show Background button. This technique is useful for quick comparisons between video frames. And lastly, the Proportions Ratio parameter displays the length width ratio that user created points will map to. Congratulations! You have successfully rectified an image with Cognitac Video Investigator. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.